Hello everyone, I'm here to show you how to get started with the Pieces for VS Code extension. Jumping right in, click the Extensions tab in your sidebar and type Pieces in the search. You'll see the extension appear at the top, and once you select it, you can click Install here. Without restarting VS Code, the install will complete. Immediately, you'll get a notification that says Pieces requires Pieces OS, and Pieces OS is the background application that powers all of our products. If you click on Get Pieces OS, you will be taken to the download page in your browser. This page will detect your operating system and give you the correct download. Then, open the app installer file. Once it opens, make sure that the launch when ready is checked, and it should be a simple click to install. Jumping back into VS Code, you now have the ability to save your first snippet. Right click and select Save to Pieces, and a notification that you can click on will take you directly to your snippet viewer, and you'll see the first snippet that you just saved. You can edit, add metadata, or simply rename snippets from directly inside of VS Code so that as you save more, each piece of code is easy to find. You'll get a notification confirming any changes that are saved. The next step is signing in so you can easily share snippets from inside of VS Code. It's a simple sign in with Google to get going. Once you do that, you'll get a confirmation that you signed in, and if you go back to your snippet, you'll be able to right-click and generate a shareable link. And you can copy it to your clipboard from the notification that appears. Now imagine that I'm in Slack, and I want to send some code to a teammate. All I do is paste from my clipboard and hit Send Now. And when they click on the link after they receive it, this web page in their browser will open. This contains the widget here, but it could be any code that you want, along with all of the metadata that is generated and associated with it. Now in order to use this in places on the web like Stack Overflow, it's a good idea to pair the VS Code extension with our Chrome extension. When you're searching the web, you can save things as you see them without leaving your browser. This will detect if Pieces OS is connected, and then you can click Copy and Save on this test snippet to save it immediately. Later you can view snippets and Pieces for Developers desktop app, but we'll talk about that more at the end of the video. Now if we go to Stack Overflow, you'll see that the Copy and Save buttons started appearing here, and you can save this snippet directly from the web page. Opening VS Code Backup, you can see here that the snippet tree is updated with this new snippet that was just saved, and you can hover here to get a preview before opening. Inside, it has all the metadata from the page that was saved from, along with the details around the question that was asked and generated tags, and it's properly formatted inside of VS Code in the Markdown Viewer. All of these links are questions that are related to the snippet, along with the original link that it was saved from. That way, if you need a different solution, you can find other options later. Now here is the Pieces for Developers desktop app, a place where you can manage all of the snippets that you save from both Chrome and VS Code in a more visible manner. You can use the rename feature here and update the name of the snippet that we saved from the Getting Started page in Chrome. All of the metadata is still attached and can be seen in the information view, and there's a lot more you can do inside of Pieces for Developers as well, like using Workflow Activity to see when and where you saved a snippet, like the one we saved from Chrome. To find out more about Pieces for Developers desktop app, watch this video. And for even more information, visit code.pieces.app.